goes, I think GP does win the early game because of his hard aggressive level 1 trading. If he gets to top lane without having to leash it in the bush and goes for some of the rasp stacks and just trades level 1. But I think level 3 set when he has his W and his E can start to win those trades. Absolutely can. And of course, uh, GP, not a lot of options for him to orange out of many of the options coming in from the side of set. Suppression can, of course, I believe, orange flash out, but has to be willing to burn a lot of major cooldowns really to sit comfortably against the CC and the setup that could come through here. Yeah, Fnatic's comp is a bit weird in a way where Hillisang is going to engage Niski and sell a lot more even. If Whippo can get a stun, get a good trade in, then use a W for poke. Should do a lot of damage, but now self-made will get spotted out. Swirl Seed not going to connect there. Self-made looking to speed into the lane, but Cry is very wisely backing off and and on Cries, Hillis ain't gonna whip there. The Taunt gonna come back. That's gonna punch him hard. He's just instantly gone. Ticking, ticking, ignite the flash forward. Patrick does not hesitate. Huge mistake from Hillis there. He tried to combo the creep to catch them off guard by knocking them up with the pulverize, but he doesn't actually get 6 it. 6.3 KDA, desperate game dropping, getting cut in half, kill participation going through the roof. It's a good look for Cries. Yeah, well, but Hillis finally calibrating that hitbox, and now things look to be getting started. Nice and proper, but the GPL coming in just in time. Tori potentially in trouble. Patrick now has to run for the hills, ignite ticking. Patrick will fall. Self made looking for the double. But the dash through from Chekolat just going a little bit wide here. They want to get one kill picked off. That's the charm. Selfmade now coming in as well. That's going to be Dan going to sleep. Night Night, where's the follow up now? Upset moving in, but he's still only level five. Good damage back. Chekolat trading. That shouldn't be possible. Fnatic with a messy exchange. Yeah, it's a two for two. This fight was almost on a knife's edge. Drill Hillisang. He has no flash. Gets him. Make it a one for one. As wait, we're going to live. Hillisang's ganking top. Chris has flash. Price. We're going to look for the flash, the pull back. Where is it going? Where's the showstopper? The dunk back down. Good damage on the Christ, but he's not going down quite yet trying to run for the hills the creeps are pocked up he's wide oh just gets taken out by the w and that's classic hillisang just runs top from base as soon as a fight happens it's just a, a knock-on effect effect from the gang from hillisang and top uh, earlier on in the game yeah dan now gonna take the herald has to feel pretty good here can't yeah. back off now the reason i want to know this is because i think when you look at both of these lineups as we see oh potentially the steel here walk oh, in no, no. Dan wins it Always place it mid, because mid is the most important tower in the game. And by the time you get the second Herald, you should be able to take it down. Or if the enemies rotate badly around the map, you should be able to take it down. And right now, XL do have priority in mid. Now, Selfmade's looking to contest. He's going to put his ear to sleep. Yeah, the dash hang. combo comes out. He can come in, head up, pulverize the follow-up. Chaining through Seraphine. Alti, Chekolad just getting one shot. Hillisang not getting burned down quite yet. But he will. He will. He won't fall in the end. Ooh. Hillisang making it out. That healing coming in clutch. Moonstone renewal right on time. And Fnatic. Patrick had to oh, with, the with the flashback over the wall. He manages to make it a one for one. But upset, he's not done yet. He's looking to make this one go. And go and go. He's dashing awesome. in. There's the ulti available. He's waiting. He's holding on to it. He goes in. That the Inferno trigger, the oh. suplex, back down, big punch, big haymaker, Blippo with the kill follow up, and Torre has to run. This is huge for Fnatic. They just picked up three kills on the mid wave. That's amazing play from Fnatic. You know, Hillisang goes for the engage, the follow up CC. Niski, three kills on the Seraphine now. He's not a support anymore. They picked up the kills in that exchange, essentially. Whippo has been quite quiet, but he has got two kills himself as well. And upsets trading aggressive with Patrick here. Making sure he gets the bot wave. Whoa, Whippo's going in again. Flex down, big punch almost ready. Conqueror proc to be hits it in the middle. He, he has gets a W. Through damage. Cries with the sidestep. Whippo wants to walk back forward. The shield there, but Cries just barely able to make it out. Yeah, this dragon, this dragon situation is going to get interesting now because one team for both, one dragon for both teams. The dragon soul point is quite far away for Ivy. Excel to force a guaranteed five v five. Yeah, Excel definitely wants not like to run into them, but they have so many tools. The GP will the Azir hitting, and the Kaiser can re-engage whenever he wants. As we see, Excel because they base and ran top, they're just trading towers essentially. And what they did was, even though they took two bad trades on both side lanes, I think they have a really good setup together. But check out that. Does dash away from Hillisang, who could have got combo, but Whippo diving in and Niski throwing Newalt. There could be a lot of one more combo going on for them. And remember in the previous team fight that it was both Selfmade and Niski who really were putting that damage out, so keeping our eyes on that sustained damage. But hold that thought. behind. TP now coming in. Double TP. Looking for the suplex. That's the stride breaker to kick things off. Whippo just desperately trying to find Patrick, trying to isolate him. Hillisang coming in. Massive haymaker. That's true damage. Galio can't stop that. Can't prevent any of it. But Patrick flashes out to safety. Torre gets knocked down. Dan running for the hills, but self made so incredibly fast. Running in, dashing a little bit more damage. Oh, there's no room for Dan to run from this one. He's just going to frolic his way through there. Self made, taking the kill. Quick snap decision making from Fnatic. Christ TPs back to lane. Whippo instantly TPs bot to make a play happen. And although Fnatic get two kills, look how much they're losing. They just lost top tier one. They just Lost mid tier one. Chekolad's almost got mid tier two as Hillisang looks for Patrick, but good dash away there. And I think although Fnatic did get two kills, they lost out on so many objectives. That's why the gold is even. Chekolad might get a mid tier two for this. It looks flashy for Fnatic. Four to eight in the kills obviously looks good, but they're they're trading so much in terms of actual resources across the map. GP damage has to be respected. 3k getting lower, but GP not the wiser here. Death's daughter, an immediate big burst of damage is gonna go in, but 
Still very early in the game. The big monster crits aren't coming through, so Upset will be able to grab that one. Bot lane lose to bot split push against Whippo. Crisis is level down on Whippo. Whippo's quite fed. I don't think he wins that. And their target is Chekolot. Chekolot having no flash means it's a good target for them, but they just got the Why are they going back into this fight? Chekolot has to dash up to safety. That's going to be two sleepy members dashing away. They will be able to walk Upset. off. No, Upset's not done. Spin, spin, spin. That is absolute confidence. The double kill from Upset. That's huge for Fnatic. What can they do with this? Can they get top tier one? Can they start up the Baron? That's a mid lane and support killed on the side of XL. Self made looking for it, but Niski needs to make sure he can get there. Whippo has a TP if they want to commit to it, but Self Mage just dancing in the river, see what he wants to do. Niski might get caught out here. Patrick has the ult. The damage. Where's the fog coming from Niski? Good healing comes in. That's the snare. The cleanse comes back. Niski still alive for now. Moonstone Renewer healing up. Guardian, not enough now. He has to run for the hills. Self Mage gonna be in trouble as well as Kryze manages to step forward. But Kryze could just be the easy target now. Hillisang starting the follow-up as Dan has already gone down. Kryze ready to get stunned here. He doesn't have any oranges left. Upset now dashing through into Hillisang. Set up to use the ultimate. Has the extra movement speed. Kryze just getting absolutely run down here. Barely able able to make it out. And just like that, Casual Fnatic have taken over this game completely. They've lost so much in terms of towers that it's so hard for them to contest this wave. Look at them. XL still have a mid-tier one. Fnatic don't even have a tier two. XL can engage whenever they want. Cries on the side with the barrel. Looking for an opportunity. Blippo trying to find the big suplex, the big dunk down. Who's he going to isolate? Cries. Maybe the first name on the list. The suplex back. He's back to safety in the midst of his team. He uses a massive haymaker. That's going to be one pick in favor of Fnatic. Traded for the GP ultimate. Okay, what can Fnatic get from this? They've got the kill. Base. Look, they're gonna get a mid-tier one from this. Upset's gonna push in these waves, and Fnatic have just got full control on the map just from an overstep from Kryze there, and Whippo gets the Drake, so Fnatic definitely find these more engages. It's four minutes until an Ocean Soul point for them. Let's check it out. It's going on to Whippo. Dance around. Whippo has the flash. Tor has the ult as well. His auto's hit hard, but he's just gonna slowly get burned down. Gonna be forced to use the grit in the second here. Selfmade on the way in. Can't look for the sleep, but it won't connect. Oh, he died game. as he flashed in. Flash in, the shutdown gone. Selfmade has to run for the hills. He's so incredibly low, but Dan's already used the ultimate earlier. This is huge for XL. There's no front line for Fnatic. All they're in is a 4v5. Selfmade has no flash. He had to burn it to get out in that circumstance. No ult either. TP coming in from Kryze, it's a 5v4, Hillisang has to find 5K. the cage. 5k on the Sparren. Burning, getting lower, Selfmade looking for the setup, they're looking for the opportunity, 2k dropping, Selfmade can he steal it, there's no way into this pit, it's getting lower, Excel decide to burn it, and they manage to take it, but Hillisang manages to find 4, huge to charge, the follow-up upset, spin, spin, through the back line, but no one has dropped yet, it's only one member down, it's only Dan taken away, upset does not get the reset, He'll he does not get his glory moment, the damage is not there, Fnatic holding on, 4 members strong with the Baron still alive. They have to chase this, Hillisang has to look for some kind of dive here, the TP's coming in from Whippo, but Patrick goes to base. So Torre has the flash. If he gets taken down, it could be good for Fnatic. But Hillisang knocks him away. He doesn't have the knock up. But does Whippo want to? He can't follow this. So XL get the Baron and lose one member. So that's really, really big. Fnatic get a huge base. Two running bot. They're going to lose this tier two bot. And Fnatic are XL are playing the map so well. They get the picks. They punish Whippo on the side lane. They get the Baron. There. Uh, so for those of you just tuning in, we have paused the broadcast at 31 minutes into the game. XL versus Fnatic, if you forgot. Due to a reported bug from XL at 34 minutes 43. League officials have confirmed the bug and offered Excel a chrono break, which they have accepted. We are administering the chrono break now. Context around what occurred. So the incident that occurred is that Samira used her ultimate and when she was killed, um, she should have entered the, the Guardian Angel, right? It should have been revived. Unfortunately, that was not the case and she kept channeling her ultimate um, and not being interactable from any of the Excel players. Excel then paused the game, uh, reported the bug and the what happens in that process is that the head referee determines whether or not the implications of the bug that is occurring are significant enough to justify a chrono break, as that comes with a lot of baggage as well. And in this specific instance, the head referee deemed that the, the bug was of severe enough importance, um, quite frankly, obviously, that um, they offered the, the chrono break to Excel. Then the process starts and um, they are trying to do good with the, go through with the chrono break as intended. A chrono break is essentially we're playing the game straight from the start again and letting every single action that all the players take go through again. Mm -hmm. um, in this case though, the chrono break unfortunately was not able to execute. And if a bug occurs that is significant enough to justify a chrono break, but the chrono break tool fails, our rules dictate that then the uh, disadvantaged team, in this case, obviously Excel, um, is offered a, a remake, which in this case, then Excel also accepted.